So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and get started with this really pretty light peachy shade. I'm going to be taking my Sigma E35 blending brush and I'm just going to be using this as my transition shade straight into the crease, just blowing out this color using circular motions and back and forth windshield wiper motions. Then I'm going to be taking this beautiful reddish brown shade and I'm going to be taking my M505 blending brush and I'm going to start placing this in the outer V and just smoking it out and then taking whatever is left on the brush and bringing it in towards the crease area. These shadows are super pigmented and sometimes can be a little bit hard to work with so you really have to blend a lot. Um, I'm going to go back with that peachy shade and I'm going to start blending out this color. As I said, you have to blend a lot. With my E35 Sigma brush, I'm just going to be blending out this reddish shade. Now I'm going to take this cool tone warm brown and I'm going to take the same brush that I used, the 505, and start it out the outer V again. Really like just take a little bit, start blending it in the outer V and bring it in closer and then take a little bit more and then blend a little bit more. Like take it little by little. Trust me, you don't want to get a big like um you don't want to get a lot of product at first because it'll kind of look chunky and in one spot. So take a little bit, blend it out, take a little bit, and then blend it out. And then I'm going to go ahead with that reddish shade again in my E35 blending brush and just blend out this color again. It's just so much easier when you go in with a lighter shade to blend in the darker shades. Um, I tried doing this look um, before this and I didn't do that much blending and you can tell it looked so much more choppy on my eyes. So I didn't like that video so I re-recorded it and blended it way more. Now I'm just going to take my E40 and then just blend a little bit more extra. I'm telling you guys, you need to blend a lot. Now for my highlight, I'm just going to use this white shade. Um, this is not the stark white, this is more of a lighter white. We're just using this equal to a small brush to place that on the high end of my brow and then my E40 from Sigma to just blend out any harsh lines. Now I'm taking my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. I didn't show you guys how I did my liner because I just show you guys all the time. So then I'm taking my Voluminous Mascara from L'Oreal in the shade Black is Black and just applying a coat of this on my lashes. Now I'm going to be doing my foundation. I'm taking my CoverGirl 3-in-1 Outlast Day Fabulous Foundation in the shade Honey Beige, I believe. And I'm just pouncing this on my face with my Precision Sponge. Um, this has been one of my favorite things to apply my foundation lately. I just love it so much and it's only like $5. I bought it at HEB. And if you're not in Texas, I'm sorry. I don't know where else you can buy it. I'm pretty sure Target might have it or Walgreens. I don't know. Now I'm going to be adding some concealer. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light. I love to use this concealer like um, for just normal days. I mean, I am filming, but today I wasn't really going to do anything, so I didn't want to use like a more expensive concealer when I could just use this one. But I'm just using the other side of my sponge to uh, blend this out as well. Now I'm going to be using my contour kit from Anastasia. This is my first time using this, so I'm really, really excited. I'm going to be taking the middle banana shade and then the, lat the matte light wider shade. I'm mixing both of them and placing that to set my under eye concealer and then my T-zone area with my blush brush from e.l.f. And I'm also going to be contouring. I'm taking this shade. Um, I don't know what each shade is, but if you guys check out the light palette, you guys can see all the names on there. And I'm just going to be chiseling out my cheekbones like I always do, my forehead, my um, chin, and all that stuff. It kind of gets repetitive, so I just like to just really do this do this quickly because I just, I don't know, you guys probably get so bored of watching this. You're like, okay, she's about to contour, she's about to add blush, whatever. Anyways, I took this middle shade afterwards and kind of just um, applied it because it's a little bit more cool tone, so it'll help me contour a little bit more. And I'm just using this little contour brush. Now I'm taking my e.l.f. blush palette and I'm going to be taking both of these shades. And this is in the light um, shade of the palette. And I'm taking this dual fiber blush brush from Sigma and I'm just going to be applying this on the apples of my cheeks and always taking it back. That's just my favorite way of applying blush. Then I'm going to be using these 616 lashes from Salon Perfect. I love these lashes. They're so dramatic and just so up my alley. <laughs> okay. 
Now I'm gonna be doing my under eyes. I'm gonna take that cool tone brown shade first with this little brow brush from Mary Kay and just tight lining my under my waterline or the lash line I believe. And I'm using the reddish tone and taking this little, I think it's the M169 brush from Morphe. I'm gonna be blending out that cool tone brown with the warm brown and it just makes such a beautiful combination. I love it. Um, you really want to smoke out that bottom lash line, especially when I have so much dramaticness going on at the top. Just do back and forth, back and forth, have patience, keep doing it till you see that it's nice and smoked out. Now I'm taking the black eyeshadow, and if you don't want to use that, whatever, use Corrupt. Um, I'm just using the 169 brush again, that little pencil brush. And I'm applying it just in the outer V. As you can see, I'm kind of doing a V, literally. I'm not shading it in too much. I'm just kind of doing it and then blending it out with the M503 brush. So there's no harsh lines. And then I'm just going to be applying some mascara. Yada, yada, yada. I'm using the same voluminous mascara from L'Oreal. Now I'm going to be applying my inner corner highlight. I'm going to be using the lighter white shade and then the more stark white eye, um, eyeshadow. I really want a bright inner corner so that's why I'm using these eyeshadows and that small equal tools brush to apply. Then I'm using my Mary Luminizer highlight from the Balm. I just love this highlight. I cannot get enough of it. Um, and you just can't go wrong with it. That's why I love it. And last but not least, I'm applying my lip well, lip liner. I'm not going to use any lipstick. I just love this lip liner, how it looks by itself. I'm just going to be applying this, and once you're done applying that, then this look is complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something different. And yeah, I will see you guys on my next video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!